because of my disease. The the uh, sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia. Yes. Okay. He was that and he was sick too. Okay. At the same time. Her father was complete gray hair, and he started taking the black strap molasses. Do you know how much he was taking a day? Probably one to two tablespoons. One to two tablespoons. The man got all his hair color back. Is that is that a miracle or what? Is that amazing? And see. The Bible says the gray hair is for the aged man. 45 and 40 years old is not aged. It's about 60. But see, people say, well, my mother and my grandmother, they ate gray at the young age. Well, that doesn't mean it's healthy, though. That just means they, too, have the medical problem. That means there's minerals and elements in the body that are missing, that when you take that black strap molasses, it replaces the, and then his, all his coloring came back. He's he didn't need to go to Clairol or anything say, like that. He's almost seven. Isn't it, and it worked for him. Isn't that amazing? That means he was deficient. I know. That means he was deficient. If it came back, he was deficient. You know we are all deficient in minerals. That's right. That's why we use Well, you know, my family, they don't get gray hair until they're about 75. See, and it's for the aged person, you know. Shoe okay, polish. now what else causes high blood Shoe pressure? Huh? Hell. Oh, yeah, okay. What else causes high blood pressure? What does that mean? Vinegar. This includes ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Why am I saying those things? Why am I mentioning those items? Yes, and would that also include veg and eggs? Yes. yes, it would. You know what I say? I say we all band together at Seventh-day Adventists around the United States. And we call, what's the name of the company who makes veg and eggs? Follow Your Heart. We call them and we ask them, we say, you know what? We have a health message that teaches we don't eat vinegar. Can you put citric acid or lemon juice in it instead? Let's call them. And he said if we get 100 people to call, they'll get excited. They'll get excited. They'll make it for us. That's all you have to do well, is we call them. We can write a letter too, and we can use a form letter. Just write a letter, call them. We can do all that. Because I know there's sometimes you don't have time to make the blender mayonnaise. You just want to grab that jar and you want to make it quick. Butter your bread. Yes. So. If you were going to eat the veginase, let's ask them to make it the way that is conducive for our health. Is that understandable? Yes. And where's the number? Oh, uh, it's, he doesn't know it. It's called uh, Follow Your Heart is the uh, name uh, of the uh, company. Uh, 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 Bring it. Never Follow? Know. There's a restaurant in Grand Yeah, Rangers? Yeah. Oh, they're they're the same one, yeah. Okay. Now, the same, same people. we're going to do the treatment for, for blood pressure. It was Okay, now, how do we turn off the faucet? Remove the culprits. That's right. Remove the culprits that we just mentioned, okay? How do you, and, and also, <clears throat> adding the foods in there, that's how you can unplug the sink. Adding the foods that are high in potassium, that are high in vitamin E, that are high in magnesium, that are high in... Um, L-arginine that converts into nitric oxide in the body. Okay, so turn off the faucet. Now, we want to unplug the sink. This one's for diabetes as well. Walking, how long? An hour. An hour a day. For one hour. That's right. Did Jesus walk on the Sabbath? Oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with walking on Sabbath. Now, go to a gym or use all those. We don't need to do that. We can just walk. So I heard people say that they don't walk on Sabbath because they're exercising and they believe they're breaking. Following the laws of health is not breaking Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So Jesus you can do it on. You can do Jesus it. healed on the Sabbath. That's right. Jesus healed on the Sabbath. So some, sometimes we can get legalistic. There's nothing wrong with walking on Sabbath. Now, going to a gym or pulling out your bench press, okay, maybe you might want to refrain from that, but there's nothing wrong with walking. The Lord did it, and if He did it, it's good enough for us. Okay. Now we're going.
going to mop up the water. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to eat one to three cloves cooked or raw garlic? Raw. Raw garlic a day. Three would be the best, optimal, and even more if you want. Now, if somebody's on blood ganglers, mm -hmm. you have to be careful telling them about this, all right? Because this can cause them to have excessive bleeding. Also, uh, sources of vitamin K, like broccoli. Yes. That's very high in vitamin Yes, absolutely. Can, it will help for the clotting yeah. factor. Yes, vitamin K. Broccoli and kale okay, and spinach. Okay. Yes. Okay, we said it earlier. One to two tablespoons of blackstrap molasses. Why blackstrap molasses? What did we learn yesterday? Because What's the number one source of potassium? Molasses. That's right. Not just molasses. It has to be blackstrap molasses because there's a certain way that it's made that allows it to have all these minerals. Your regular molasses, grandma's molasses they sell in the store, is not, as, is not medicinal like blackstrap molasses. So it has to be the blackstrap <laughs> molasses. And make sure, who do you not want to give this to? Diabetics. Diabetics, that's right, very good. Diabetics. Potassium neutralizes the sodium and brings the blood pressure down. That's why we want the blackstrap molasses. So okay. Don't give blackstrap molasses to diabetics. Diabetics. Yes. Two tablespoons. What do you think I'm going to put up here? What? Flaxseed. Freshly ground. Why do I say freshly ground it? And and how quickly do you have to eat it from the time you ground it? The reason okay. I the reason why I say freshly ground is because it loses its properties once it's open. So you don't want to go to Winco and buy the already grounded flaxseed. Always make sure you buy whole flaxseed. And from the time you grind it, you need to eat it within 15 minutes. Is that understandable? Mm -hmm. Now why flaxseed? It's rich in uh, omega. That's right. It's high in omega-3s. Omega and it's high in fiber. Do we need fiber for heart? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's another thing. We want to add fiber. Name some foods that are high in fiber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bran, oats, apples. Don't peel the apples because the pectin underneath the skin is what has really the high fiber. You can wash it very well. And wash it very well. You can use lemon juice, you can use sea salt and lemon combined. Some of the, they, they have some vegetable washes that are very good, that don't have any chemicals in them. You can even use a couple drops of colloidal silver. We'll wash your produce very well. Okay? And, uh, alrighty. Let's see. Now, we want to stop all the, what did we say we don't want to drink? What did the prophet of the Lord we read today? Tea, don't drink tea, tea, tea and what else? Coffee. Tea and coffee. But there is an herbal tea that you can drink. I'm going to write it up here. It's called linden tea. And you can get it in almost any Mexican store or Latin American store. And in Spanish, it's called dilo. My mother-in-law used to drink this all the time. It's a very calming tea as well. It helps the B, with the B vitamins. It helps the nervous system. It's excellent for the heart. Linden tea. You can what go to Vallarta. What is that made of? Linden? Linden herb? is the name of the herb. Uh -huh. It's an herb. Linden. It's linden herb. Let me write that here. Herb. You get it in the herb section. You know in Vallarta where they sell their big bulks of herbs in the bags and they have the parsley oh, yeah. and the cilantro oh, yeah. dried and yeah, they have that there as well. It's a very popular tea among the Latin American and Hispanic community. And it's excellent for uh, high blood pressure. 
Another one that's good is valerian. Valerian is good. This can be a little costly sometimes, but valerian, if you can get it, it helps with the blood pressure as well. Now, we're going to turn off the faucet. Some more things I need to talk about. We want to... We said we don't want to have stimulating foods, right? Mm -hmm. Tobacco stimulating, it's not a food, but it's stimulating. Alcohol is stimulating. Is coffee stimulating? Yes. Yes. Is tea stimulating? Of yes. But what else is stimulating? Remove all spices. That would be your sriracha sauce. That would be your Tabasco sauce. That would be any hot sauce. That would be your habanero peppers. Oh no. Your jalapeno peppers. <laughs> that would be, you know why? They're stimulating. And they cause high blood pressure. And she says that yes. they put a hole in the stomach too. They put a hole in the stomach. I just heard something last night. And there were these two guys. One was young and one was old. One was like 20s and one was 40. And they got some pepper sauce, I think from the south. One little drop and you mix it in all your food, you're still on fire. One drop. Well, they both did a tablespoon. Within 15 minutes, the 40-year-old man was hospitalized. Wow. He had a complete hole in his stomach. Wow. Yes. This stuff is well, very see, serious. You have to eat that kind of stuff with food. Not in an empty stomach. No, we're not supposed to I eat know, any of this stuff. To. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we shouldn't even eat it with food. Mm. These what items else? raise the blood pressure. Now, here's the thing. If it goes in hot, and it comes out hot, <laughs> has the chemistry been changed? Yeah. No. That means it's not for us. Because in. if it doesn't alter the chemistry of what you've just taken in, it doesn't do anything for the body. Well, if you give somebody cayenne because of heart attack, it will come out hot also. Hold on one second. There's a difference. Right. Now, hold on one moment, though. That's another thing. Now, what did you want to say, brother? What about cayenne? Okay, that's what I was going to talk about. We are told not to eat any spices. Did you know cayenne can raise your... Now, I'm going to get to the medicinal part. Cayenne, too, raises your blood pressure. And it's wonderful for those who have low blood pressure. The person I'm training under, he was dealing with a lady who had extremely low blood pressure. It was deadly and she was scared. He told her, do you have any cayenne? She said, yes. He said, I want you to go get it, put out your tongue and suck it. Just suck it, suck it, suck it. And she did. I think it was within 20 minutes. Her, her systolic number, I think was like 82 or 84. She went to 101. And her... Diastolic number was like 43. She went to about 55 in 20 minutes from sucking on the cayenne. Now, cayenne is excellent for medicinal purposes. Did the prophet of the Lord use tea for a medicinal purpose? She did. When she was on that boat going across, I forgot where she was, she got sick. She was green and nauseated. They gave her tea. She took it for medicinal purpose. There are times, just like I said, if I'm in a diabetic's home and all they have is cinnamon, I'm going to use the cinnamon. It's the lesser of the evils. I'd rather give them cinnamon than I would give them, because God made a lot of these things, even though it may not be for us to eat. There's animals, there's birds who eat these things. But it's the lesser of the two evils. You get what I'm saying? Now, cayenne is excellent for stopping a heart attack in its tracks. It's excellent for um, a stroke. You put a half a teaspoon in some warm water or a teaspoon and you have them drink it. Same thing for the heart attack, you just put a pinch underneath. It's excellent. If somebody is cold body and they suffer from cold feet, 